This audio is deep and interesting about how this guy found his sweet spot. The lesson to learn here is get ready to be ready, which will take some time to practice. I believe that you'll find it interesting. Using headphones and earphones will maximize your enjoyment. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. It all is. It is. That was an incredible segue. Because what you were just saying, last week I fell out of the vortex hardcore and it was like coming down off of heroin. Not that I've done it. Well, we didn't tell you what step five is. Step five is when you're back in step one and you're not mad at yourself for being back there. Step five is when you recognize that some contrasting moments are still of value and you take it as a clarifying moment as a bouncing off moment you don't beat up on yourself quite to the degree that you seem to be wanting to do here noted anyway i took to meditating becoming present and moment by moment throughout the rest of the evening and the next following days i was very focused on my inner body awareness my breath kind of crazy like really focused on it and what i just noticed was such a spaciousness in my own consciousness did it feel to you that that focus was receiving focus or projecting focus this is the distinction that we want you to feel were you thinking or were you receiving correct i was not thinking it's splitting hairs it seems because when you receive thought the thought is active and so it feels like you're thinking the thought because it's active but you can tell the difference can't you yes yeah. absolutely yeah and what did it feel like through the couple days I felt my energy slowly with this momentum start to build more and more I was clearing out a lot of junk thought that just kind of floats around in my mind well by clearing it out you see what happens is that's like saying we want you to hear this a little bit because we know there's a lot of conversation in the metaphysical world about clearing stuff but we want you to just consider this when you tune your radio dial to a specific station do you announce to the other people in your car hold on I'm gonna clear out all the other stations <laughs> I'm clearing them all out I used to listen to rock and roll and I used to listen to country music and I used to listen but I don't listen to that anymore I've cleared that all out now I'm just listening to that you don't say that do you because tuning to this is not tuning to that so when you're tuned to this all that's cleared out but what you mean is in the process of tuning it feels like you're tuned here and 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 then the less you tune to this the more it feels like you're clearing that out but we're just saying to you that the way you clear unwanted out is by focusing on wanted it is really that simple and the way you do that is by reaching for more satisfaction in the thought I hadn't focused on thought at all I was focused on the spaciousness between the thought so what you're saying to us and in doing so unwanted things cleared correct I you, let go so of you the, didn't mean you were clearing them out you meant I was not focused upon them correct. and therefore they were deactivated exactly Ooh, that's a really good distinction yes. isn't it yes yeah. it's amazing yeah I hit a sales goal record because like, clearing them out is thinking and thinking doesn't clear them out when you're not going to think about that thing that you don't want to think about anymore you're thinking about that thing that you're not wanting to think about anymore and the more you think about it the more you say I'm not going to think about that anymore but you're thinking about it anyway but you don't want to think about it that's not clearing really good what I was just gonna say the manifestations that came from that were crazy like I was just saying I hit a sales goal record for the company I had an amazing weekend I had it just everything you're in that receiving mode and it's just playing out one thing after another like you said an avalanche of good things coming and it just absolutely showed me it's like it's not so much about I used to cram so many positive thoughts get up okay got to get the momentum got to get it going that's thinking you can think a thing one time it is there and get out of the way you of thought your vortex through contrast into this magnificent creation and when you chill and it expresses itself to you in a way that you receive it that's a whole other experience isn't it yeah and then your thoughts are just observing the good life that's coming totally yeah 
This is really intense. Yeah. Well, you know what we're doing with you because you're so on it. We're fine tuning with you. We're not correcting anything. You know, all of this, we're just helping you to find words that are matching what you've been doing. Do you think you're a master of step four? Do you think you're a master of step four? We do. We think that you are often enough feeling good. Do you know how you really master step four? Which then leads to step five, which means you don't beat up on yourself when you have a contrasting moment. The way you master step four is by acknowledging the difference between from wherever you are, a thought that feels more satisfying or less satisfying. And you always lean to what feels more satisfying. You don't try to think it all the way out. You don't try to project it into a bonus or into an acknowledgement from the company. It's just your personal satisfaction. The rest follows. You mean like I've become very sensitive to where in any moment, which direction I'm leading. Yeah, because momentum is such an important part of this process of creating. So many people, they know what they want and it's like putting an engine on a train that's going that way, but then they know where they are. And it's like putting an engine on the same train going the opposite direction. So they've got a sort of tug of war going on. And if you're sensitive to the way you feel, then you do less of the resistant thinking. You catch it in the earlier stages when it's easy to just let go of it. But if it gets some momentum, then it's a harder process of thinking. And that's what you're in the process of doing now. Your sensitivity is helping you to let go of the unproductive or the unhelpful thoughts earlier. And that's why you're allowing the momentum of what is wanted to flow. And that's why you're getting what feels to you. And it is such good results, but the results that we want you to measure are not so much what plays out in the manifestation, like the highest sales goal that the company has ever had. That's nice, but that's not what we want to ring your bells. We want the fun and satisfaction along the way to be what's ringing your bells. You could come in last. It still could have been a pleasing experience. Well, that, that's what it's like. It's getting to that point where I know that as soon as I get the next thing, I'm going to get over it and I want the next thing. And I just love being in that, as you call it, the sweet spot, yeah. which is that constant receptive mode and I kind of played it as an experiment last week I was like okay I'm just going to really back off the thinking so much and what was presented to me was like a science it's like okay I quit pushing on the brakes quit paddling upstream and instantly I was brought to all the things that are good because you know that you've done the asking and that it's all queued up for you when you get that feeling that it is all done and now you just have to let it in feel the difference in the way you feel when you say Oh, I've done the work. I've done the asking and it's all queued up. And now the fun begins. Now I get receptive and I get to witness it unfolding and I get to be there right along the way to get specific and move it faster or be more general so that no resistance comes. But I get my hands in the clay. I get to mold it into place. Feel the difference in that feeling and the feeling of I have these things I want and I'm going to go get them and nothing's going to stand in my way. In other words, you can feel the tension in that, can't you? It's the satisfaction because when it's flowing, it's flowing. It's like understanding that your power is power of focus and that power of focus is power of letting go, but you can't let go if you don't trust the process. So you have to know that life caused you to create a vortex and you have to know that that vortex is, and you do. And you have to know that your inner being and source is right there with that. And you have to know that ideas are being projected to you all day, every day, that it is being shown to you. And that the only thing you have to do is get yourself into a receptive mode where you can hear, which means you can't struggle and receive and you can't worry and receive and you can't fret and receive and you can't be making your own really strong plans apart from that and receive. It's like finally accepting your worthiness and no longer needing to prove it. And that's why we wanted to emphasize just a little bit. There's a little bit of proving your value through the competition in your workplace. The highest mark on the chart can kind of get in your way. You can get carried away with that where if that's not important, but the satisfaction factor is, then there are no accomplishments that are off limits for you or out of reach for you. And people will look at you and they'll say, what are your goals? 
and you say what's your goal what's your goal this month and you say to be happy and they say no dummy what's your goal how much are you gonna sell this month enough to keep me happy I need a figure I need to know how much and when I need to know how much and when I need to hear your goals I'm sort of operating differently now I sort of have an unlimited goal that if I said it to you you wouldn't understand it it's like there are no limits for me I don't want to speak a goal that you might think is rational because my goals like that would seem irrational to anyone who doesn't understand how this works don't say any of this out loud to anybody <laughs> we just want you to know it in other words I just want to be happy just want to feel good you can't intend something and not move in the direction of it and feel satisfied you only feel satisfied if what you're intending you are moving toward so don't worry this satisfaction goal will keep you on track in a really consistent way not only will it keep you on track to receive whatever it is you want it will keep you on track to live happily ever after this is the recipe for happily ever after getting ready to be 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 ready is living happily ever after the way most humans are doing it is not ready not ready not ready not ready want this not ready not ready not ready want this we're not ready not ready want this want to find some way to get there get there this is happily ever after I'll be happy once I get there no you won't you'll only be happily ever after if you understand that with everything that manifests like all of those things that are manifesting for you for everything that's manifesting you're putting more into the vortex so there's this continual cycle it's like the new crop the new seed is in the ground and the new crop is underway and yeah there's going to be manifestation but you can't disregard the process of planting and the process of taking care of it and the process of enjoying the natural unfolding of it and yes you're going to have a lot of magnificent crops sort of mind-boggling if you knew if we were to say to you what we see coming forward it would set you off your balance and we might have just done it anyway <laughs> but if you just take it as it comes take it as it comes don't ask for more than you're ready for and be satisfied with what you're ready for don't ask for more than you're ready for and be satisfied with what you're ready for that's living happily ever after which pretty much means you got to leave everybody else out of the equation because they don't have the ability to feel the vibrational frequency between what's in your vortex and you only you can feel that and the satisfaction factor gives you that knowledge it feels exponential it is exponential in so many ways first of all your inner being is exponential not singular plural the energy that creates worlds gathered up for you a leverage that we cannot find physical words to describe so sometimes when you look at something that is that big it kind of blows you out of the water and you don't accept it but when you just be ready for what you're ready for then you allow yourself to ease in to the exponential power of universal forces the big factor for most of you is trusting that source has its eye on you because you've sort of trained yourself not to believe in your value but it won't take long as you watch these things line up for you as you are already doing for you to convince yourself oh yeah I got this I got this they know me they like me I like them we're all in this together <laughs> nothing to prove only life to be lived you see when you really get it that you are source energy and that this is the leading edge and that the source energy that we are describing as your inner being is enjoying this leading edge manifestation that you are providing then you stop being a humble human who is trying to find blessings from someone that you believe has already got it all figured out and you understand that we are all really all in this together and that through you the creation is continuing and once you get that so that there is a love and appreciation of all that is but there's not a humility that takes you to a place of not letting yourself be the manifester of all that source is flowing you follow that that feeling that I am less than and you are more than keeps you from being in the receiving mode but when you meditate or appreciate those resistant thoughts away so that your vibration rises and you are equivalent to your source 
did you hear that you can't be humble and less than your source and be in the receiving mode we've not said that before did you hear it you have to be equivalent to your source to be in that receiving mode who we think this is a good time Thank you.